What's up, guys? So welcome to the GRE sub uh, subject physics uh, tutorial. So basically, uh, this is my uh, the my first test about GRE physics in uh, four years ago, and I got personally got the four score uh, in two thousand sixteen. So to get the percentage is ninety four. So to get this result, you need at least you can only answer like 10 to 15 wrong so total you have 100 question and you can only like 10 or 15 10 to 15 uh, question then you does not answer right uh, you do not answer it right then you have a chance to get the, the 990 but remember that uh, you only have you only have 170 minutes and uh, you have 100 questions so each question can only take you two at most take you two minutes so you need to solve it qu quick and in this video i will start to in this uh, series of video i will start to solve the the textbook uh, uh, 100 questions one by one and i will tell you that uh, which part is important and uh, how to solve the it quickly and uh, or how to get the answer uh, so this tutorial will the, the pace of this tutorial will be somewhat uh, uh, quite fast because we only have limit time and uh, basically uh, all you need to know is uh, if you follow my step then you are not guaranteed that you will get full score but at least uh, you can improve your score significantly and uh, you can see how I solve the question and uh, how is the strategy what I use okay so how we are solving this textbook is GR GR what Oh, GR 1777. Okay, then the one video I will contain is like maybe 10 questions because otherwise the test, the video is so long that I cannot maintain this. Okay, so first one the net force FA and the net force FB act on the FA act on AFB act on B. And the what's the, the, and the, you know the mass of B is twice the mass of A. And the acceleration of B is twice the acceleration of A. And why is the FA and FB, FB? So first one is uh, very uh, very easy that you only need uh, F equals to MA. So FB is just four times MA. Because mass is twice and acceleration is twice. So we use the so E. Simple. Uh, two objects sliding on uh, a friction and they represent above and uh, they uh, stick and uh, stick together and how much kinetic energy is converted to heat so heat is just change the kinetic energy so basically once they collide together their total mass is two thirds so basically you need to compute the uh, velocity after uh, after it collides so the momentum conservation tells you that the x direction, so this is px, is equal to the two thirds vx. So it tells you that vx is this. Also in the y direction, this one times one equals to the okay. So the original kinetic energy is half times mass velocity square and uh, the final kinetic energy is a half times uh, total mass and uh, velocity square okay so this is what is this four times Nine eight. Okay. So we are three over two minus two over three. So it should be I 
getting our pins all over. And the two simple Pandurian ABR concepts are in your mass. So their mass is the same. And the, the Pandurian oscillator in an equal gravitational field. The Pandurian B is present period. Oh, basically, you need to know the period that is 2 pi over the square root of L divided by G. Uh, so now the TB is 2TA. And the G is the same. So LB is or LA. Choose E. Yeah, so you, you need to solve the equation uh, as fast as fast, fast as possible. So probably this equation only take you 30 seconds. Okay, number four. Uh, for the circuit, uh, what is the current? Okay. So this is the current problem that uh, you can solve it. So basically, the, the total resistance for this is 2 over 3. So the total resistance is uh, 5 over 3, 1 plus 2 over 3. So the total current is 20 over uh, 5 over 3. So it's 60, 12. And then when current go to 2, uh, to uh, uh, resistance, then it will take the inverse. The, the, the current will proportion to the inverse of resistance. So this should be eight. This should be four. And it asks about how many currents. So the answer is B. The answer is B. So this is basically the, the simple current. Uh, that's the simple circuit problem. You need to know about it. The resistance of the uh, the as you series series the resistance, then the answer should be sum of the series. And if you uh, if you the parallel the resistance, you need to know the resistance formula. Okay. By definition. The electron current, uh, electric displacement current through the surface S is proportional to what? Okay, so this question is asking about the uh, Maxwell equation. So what is the definition of D? Uh, so, thi so this question does not have any... Uh, otherwise, you just... Uh, this is basically the definition. The rate of change of electric flux through E, S through S. So we should choose E. Answer is E. Uh, this is just the definition of the of this re, re, uh, this displacement current. So remember that uh, there are two ways to generate the the magnetic field. One is the current. One is the change of electric field. So rate of change of the electric flux through S can be viewed as the uh, some equivalent equivalent or or some source of current. So in this case, this is called a displacement current. So this is why Maxwell call it displacement current because it looks like a current and it adds the same effects as the current term. So this is common sense of the Maxwell uh, equation. The answer is E. Okay, tell you that the electric number six, the electric field of plane K and angular frequency is given by this. Which of the following gives the direction associated? Oh, basically, you need to know E should be direct. E, uh, e should be normal to the to the uh, magnetic field. Also, common sense. Okay. So E dot B should be zero. So now E is proportional to x plus y. 
over b should be x minus y or any related proportional range or any proportional answer uh, so answer is b common sense now you say so the, the only uh, each of question only take you like 30 minutes you can solve it some of them may take long some of them may take short so eight why is the following uh which you find is true about this and the only goes reversible so there is no change in the internal energy there's no change in the internal energy of the assistant now this is wrong because it just means that reversible does not mean that you, you i mean you, you can still change the 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 internal energy because the internal energy only is proposed for ideal gas is only proportional to uh three over two r times the temperature so if the temperature changes then then it still changes and the temperature of the system can be changing right so b is still b is wrong a is wrong the entropy of the system and the environment remains unchanged uh Basically, this is the 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 answer we should choose because the entropy of total remain the same. I mean, it, I mean, if the total entropy is not the same, that means this is not this is in irre irreversible because we know that the second law tells us that the, the entropy will will keep increasing. And then there is no way that you can make entropy decrease if you consider entropy in the re in the uh, in the origin. If you add the entropy of your environment and the and the system, then you cannot increase decrease the entropy. So the answer should be C. And the D is uh, D is wrong. And E is, e is also wrong because you can still, I mean, you, you, if you increase the volume, then you can still change the work. And the number is that which of the following thermodynamic process is increased. Uh, if increased when the internal energy is equal to the heat. So first law. So your heat is the same as work. Uh, internal energy changes. Okay, so the work is the volume times times the uh, the pressure times the change of volume do the integral, and then we want this side these two be the same. So work should be zero. So the constant volume is the answer because dV is zero. So we choose B. Uh, we choose. We choose B. Uh, one one. Okay. So number nine. Ask about root mean square. So common sense that I already say that uh, the root mean square equals to the. Uh, the internal energy of the. The total the total energy of the the ideal gas is three over the two R T. So you need to remember these results. So we choose D. We choose D. Okay, number ten. Uh photoelectric result. Okay, so work function is the metal with proportion work function of the metal is the proportional to the frequency. Uh, this is definitely not correct because for photoelectric you had the frequency minus the work uh, the work function will become the kinetic energy of the electron this is all you need to know okay so A is not correct B work function metal is proportional to the wavelength uh, also not correct because there may be some electron this is ca cannot be uh, could not be could be zero that uh, could, could could be non-zero Current tube is a linear function of wavelength. Hmm? Current? This is proportional current. 
is proportional. Linear function proportional to what? To the fre frequency. Potential difference necessary to snap even is linear combination of the frequency above the threshold frequency. Oh, uh, this is correct because this is potential difference. If you set the potential difference to stop the current, then this potential difference is a linear combination of uh, of this uh of this frequency. And then if you is uh, if it's above the effective uh, effective threshold, then this this equation holds. So basically, equation D just tells us that this equation and this equation is correct. So we choose D. And the potential difference necessary is equal to the work function. Uh, not really. It's equal to h mu minus the work function. Uh, okay. So up to now we solved the ten, and then we will keep solving next ten in the next time.